Okay, I wanted to show you how to uh, um, install uh, software from FreeDOS into uh, DOSBox uh, using the um, one of the uh, installers that comes with FreeDOS called um, FDimples. There are a couple of installers that you can use, but FDimples is, is kind of the simplest uh, from a user perspective. So the first thing you want to do is, is go to the FreeDOS.org website. Uh, scroll down and click on the download free DOS 1.2 and then download the standard CD-ROM. I've already done that so um, I'll skip that step. I've downloaded it into a free DOS uh, um, directory on my F drive. I also have set up on, on my F drive uh, a DOS box underscore C folder that I'm going to use as my C drive in DOSBox. Notice that right now that that is empty. Um, I've got my DOSBox configuration file set up and it does a couple of things. It mounts this particular Windows folder as my C drive in DOSBox and then I use image mount to mount the free DOS CD-ROM uh, as my D drive. And then I, I set up my path. You'll see that we'll be installing our um, free DOS applications um, into the FDOS uh, bin directory. So I've modified the path environment variable. Uh, so uh, that directory is, is included in, in the path. Um, also the FDimples program requires two other environment variables be set. It requires that this uh, DOS DIR environment variable be set to um, the appropriate free DOS uh, uh, directory. So that's C colon um, backslash uh, FDOS. And then we also have to have this temp environment variable. So again, this, uh, these are the lines you'll want to add with appropriate modifications for your, your folder name and the location of the CD. Um, you want to add these lines to your DOS box uh, configuration. Okay, so I've got uh, one Explorer window open uh, to DOS box C. I do need to create uh, a temp folder there. Again, that's, that's where the temp environment variable points. And then I also want an FDOS folder. So let me browse into the FDOS folder. And the other Explorer window, I, I'm in the folder where I downloaded the free, free DOS CD-ROM. So in Windows, I can just double click on that and it'll automatically mount that, that drive, mounted it as my, my G drive here. Uh, I'm going to go into the util uh, subdirectory and I need to copy out um, uh, applications from uh, two packages, fdimples and the free DOS network installer package. So uh, let me drill into the free, free DOS network package um, archive and I want to copy uh, the bin, the, the doc and the national uh, natural language support. I think that's what that stands for um, off of out of that um, archive and over into my FDOS folder. Um, I'm going to do the same now for the FDimples routine. It's the bin and doc folders and copy those into my FDOS folder. Now my bin directory, let's see we've got the network package installer. We've got the FD installer, free DOS installer that can also be used. And then uh, again, we'll be using uh, the, the FDimples installer. So that's my basic setup on my on my DOSBox C drive. Um, now let me actually start up DOSBox. It started up on another monitor, so let me drag it over here. And then at this point, I should just be able to talk, start FDimples. Um, it's pretty slow unless I increase the CPU speed. Okay, there we go. And so this is the FDimples installer. Again, you do have to have this the FreeDOS uh, CD-ROM um, mounted under FreeDOS as well. 
but um, you know I can go into the base directory, for example, and you know pick out some um, DOS commands that I like. Deltry edit. Um, let's see. Um, more and move are nice. Uh, X copy is nice, and then just hit tab over OK, and you'll see that. Um, these are now all installed and so I can use the the free DOS editor now is available as well as those other commands of course more importantly starting up F dimples again I can go into the um, games area and select some some games that I want to install hit tab and um, it installs the games um, these get installed into the root of the C drive as do some of the development packages um, um, so you see now that I have a, a, a games directory um, and that's it pretty easy to get um, F dimples running under um, DOSBox, uh, making it pretty easy to install uh, a lot of the other utilities uh, that are available on the free DOS uh, CD. You do also have at this point the, the free DOS installer program that you can use to ins install direct install the the, uh, the zip packages uh, directly. So again, those are on the D drive. So I can I can go into um, I could use the FDOS installer to directly install uh, um, the zip package instead of using FDimples. There's also the FD network package installer um, but um, that allows you to automatically update FreeDOS packages over the network, but I don't have network support to, um, for DOSBox. So um, you can use this to install local packages locally as well, directly from the D drive. So that's it.